Welcome back. We're going to continue on to part two of making animations in Photoshop for trailers and webcomics. So if you haven't seen part one, it's best to start with part one uh, and uh, let's continue on. Okay, a couple of really important things really quick. First of all, you can make your videos longer just by dragging out the layers. You've got to drag out each layer like I'm doing here. Now we're going to review copying and pasting. I've already copied those uh, four positions there, so I'm just going to right click and hit paste, and they all paste onto the timeline. Don't forget that you can jump between animation states by clicking this little arrow. Now, let's say I jump to this one and I move Alethea. Well, now that's the new point. So now when the tracker gets there, it's going to go to the new point. So I can use that and jump. See how easy it is to change the position of the layer and then jump to the next animation state and then change the layer again. It quickens your workflow immensely. All right, so how do I get rid of all this animation? I just click on the stopwatch and it disappears. Your character, your object can be off the screen. That's fine, all right? At two seconds. I want her to start moving, five seconds, I want her to be here. So after two seconds of a pause, she'll start moving, okay? What else? Well, if I were to crop right now, I've just cropped her out. She's gone. So be very careful when you crop, when you're doing animation. In animation, a lot of times things are going to be off the screen because you want you want stuff to, to come into view off the panel. But if it's out here and you crop, it's going to disappear. It's going to be gone. So if you want to change the size of your canvas later, you're going to have to do image canvas size, which is clunky and awkward. There's no way to just expand your canvas. But that's the way you have to do it if you've got stuff off the screen. So that's it for part two, but uh, join us next time. We're going to start into smart objects, which is where a lot of the fun in Photoshop animation really begins. So stay tuned.